How did they go? I went good. Uh, I think I ran good. Uh, catching, do that naturally. Uh, just good to get out here and compete with my guys in, in our facility for one last time. So uh, I think we went pretty well. Is it different doing it here then from going back and doing it? Uh, the combine was a little more uh, stress, you could say, but uh, it's just different. You're more comfortable here. That's where I've been for five years. So it's just a comfort thing and you back with your guys. So Any feedback you get here different from the combine? Uh, no, people was impressed with me at the combine. I think they still impressed with me now. Uh, just seeing me running after after my injury and things like that and seeing me catching and seeing me without my knee braces on and stuff like that. So uh, I think I think uh, they were impressed both. Did you combine feel like you ran better here than back at the combine? Uh, yes. I think a lot? I, or? I didn't run at the combine, oh. uh, so I ran here. Uh, I think I ran pretty good. Do you have a goal time for a 40 here? Uh, no, I just ran as fast as I could. Dude. I'm a real football player, not a workout guy, so uh, <laughs> I just run without run. Uh, it, you're never going to run a 40 again. A lot of guys in the league kept telling me, like, B, these are your last 40 that you're ever going to run. I didn't run like a hundred of them through uh, three months. So uh, just to get it over with, because to me personally, that doesn't show football. You can be a fast 40 guy, but uh, you got to have some grit to get on the football field. So yeah. there's no there's no rollover to me. So I just you. wanted to get out and compete and yeah. do the best I could, and I did that. So I'm happy. Thank you for your time out time. there. Yeah, um, okay. Tuto, I said a 4.65, but I don't know. <laughs> Combine is so much more than just the on-field stuff. You mm -hmm. have the medical, you have the interviews. How'd you feel that part of it went? Because obviously, the medical is a big, mm -hmm. a big question. That people, uh, I'm sure people had th questions. About that, that. That, that that was a big thing, but uh, a lot of them was just amazed. Uh, There's like your knees more stable than some people that just got ACL tears. And, uh, it kind of got annoying to me because everybody wanted to touch my knee and feel like how good it was. And I was the only person ever in football that had this injury. You know, they never seen it before. I wrote, I wrote the blueprint to it. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to anybody else, but uh, they never seen it. So everybody wanted to touch it. So really when it's supposed to be about 60 people pulling on you, I had over 100 people pulling on me because every doctor wanted to touch it. Uh, the interview stuff uh, went, went great as well. Uh, just hearing stuff from the horse's mouth and uh, being able to have your voice and put my personality on it. A lot of guys only get the five minutes after uh, up in the HDC of you or uh, the, the 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 little time after a game and stuff like that. So just being able to be, I was just myself there, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it all went it went great. Did any off field stuff come up in the uh, interviews? Uh, yeah, a few off field stuff uh, that I just explained. Like I said, they just wanted to hear from the horse's mouth. Uh, some of them t just said that what it really was was uh, BS, and uh, just explaining it to them. And uh, I don't think there was any kind of hindering from that. Uh, so with the combine, I answered all the red flags that they had. Going into it, that was a red flag. The medical was a red flag. But once I answered that and they got the truth to it, uh, it was great. And after another red flag was medical, so position drill. So they wanted to see me run. After they seen that, now they all came here. I was like, man, I want to see him run his 40 and see, you know what I mean, uh, what kind of guy. And I think I ran pretty well. So now it's just building up. It's all rolling. It's a long process. So I'm just embracing it, really. Yeah. What percent of the uh, interviews do you think the off-field stuff was uh, was touched on? Uh, most of them. They they, they all want to know. Uh, like they they only get the media, you know, what the media gives them. So they all want to know. Uh, these guys are investing millions of dollars into you, so nothing's going to go unanswered, even if it's nothing. Like for example, I never was arrested for anything. Never been to jail. Never had any allegations or accused of anything. So, but they don't get that. They only get the media. You, you know what I mean? If you let the media tell, it's a whole different story. But uh, once the truth comes out and they get the truth, that's that's what that's what that, that's what you're here for. And uh, I think that all went solid. And everybody kind of uh, asks about it because if I'm investing a million dollars into you, uh, you got to know I'm gonna have every story you ever written. Because uh, now you represent. If I'm uh, Nat, Nat Geo, you represent Nat Geo now. So before I get your contract, I'm gonna know everything about you. And that's what this process is about: background checks, all that. They're doing their due diligence. You got a schedule from here on for next month or I so? I don't got a schedule. I'm going to talk to my agent, uh, stick around here, uh, hopefully get some private workouts. Every team gets about 30 visits, hopefully go on some of those, but uh, kind of just keep working out. Uh, once you get to the NFL, it's back to the bottom. You got to work your way up, so I'm just keep working. Don't stop. A lot of your former teammates obviously have done what you are doing right now. Mm -hmm. How many of those guys did you kind of talk to in the process, say, What's the combine like? What are the interviews like? You know, what should I be expecting? Were there guys uh, who were pretty helpful? Uh, yeah, I talked to my cousin a lot, uh, Cecil, uh, 
talked to Eric a lot, DeForest. Uh, Marcus been here, so I was throwing with Marcus and talking to him uh, about the pro day and stuff. And uh, just saying, just relax, be yourself. That's really what you got to be. You can't go to the combine and try to act like somebody else. You can tell these guys have been doing it for 40 years. Yeah. They can tell somebody sitting there trying to BS them. They can tell that, you know, so. The biggest thing is just being yourself and staying relaxed out here. Uh, and I just took the same advice running at 40. Just be relaxed. It's all mental. You're going to run what you're going to run. That don't mean you can't play football, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that was just the biggest thing, just relaxing. Yeah.